In the vinyl, it's reprinted as a small like, booklet, mm -hmm. not a part of the whole kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he was. It was this text which I, uh, which I love. It's a beautiful piece by an uh, American author called Keith Waldrop. Uh, he was saying that it was a bit unusual. <coughs> we did the same thing with the Blake, William Blake thing. So it's not like we have been kind of going to literature before and taking stuff that has been kind of interesting to us. So it doesn't feel that strange to us to work in that way, but it might kind of come across as a bit strange. <coughs> I had a question about that track yesterday, and this guy said, you know, did you make a really long track with a very long poem because you had to basically kill some time and get it up to album length or whatever, which is also an odd thing to say because uh, it's not like this band has never worked with, you know, long form music before. You know, there's plenty of plenty of examples of very long tracks, you know, extended, you know, forms and whatever. Um, and it is a long poem. It's very detailed, and it's kind of a it's kind of a walk. It's a walk through a cemetery and many uh, sort of. Uh, cosmic observations, you know, and also many earthly observations going on, and uh, there's this constant toing and froing between, or for me at least, toing and froing between um, feeling accompanied by something else, something other than humanity, and then the kind of devastating realisation that there isn't anything else. Um, and the stone angels are a sort of beautiful example of that. You know, the, you know, the, these kind of celestial figures. You know, that something that we've never seen. We, we can only depict in literature and it's also in the mythology color. and and religion. But actually, it's cast in granite and stone and something that we, you know, made by human hands. It's, it's that, in a way it's that relationship that summarises the track you know, and, and the poem. Uh, okay. Um, right? <laughs> wrong? I don't know. There is no That's how I feel wrong. about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. It makes sense. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It's, and I have to read it every night, you know, on, on, on stage and it's, uh, uh, you know, you really have to kind of invest something in it, you mm. know, because it is so sort of, uh, I don't know, I mean, there's so much, so many, it goes to so many places, and Absolutely. it's quite, uh, I don't know. I mean, I've read it a few times, and I've thought, you know, oh, I'm not quite involved in this now. I'm just reading it, you know. But then suddenly, a sort of stanza will jump out that I've never really addressed before, and it, you know, and that will give me an opening. And you know, it's very, it's very like music in that way. You know, it's, uh, sometimes you're just going through the motions and you're just banging out this tune, and then suddenly, you know, another possibility occurs to you and start exploring that. No. <laughs> no, I, I read it a few times and uh, I think I probably made a composite. Uh, I, I spent quite a long time with it because, uh, you know, I remember doing it over two days and on the second day I had a very different voice. Like my speaking voice just suddenly sounded totally different to the first day. Um, so I just ended up scrapping everything I did on the first day and started reading again. Um, uh, but the tone of it is quite important. You know, it needs to be conversational, it needs to be um, soft and not overly uh, not, 
certainly emphasized.